The Newton Coates integration formulas are based on the idea that we have some function that we're trying to approximate and we have that function valued uh, uh, we have the values of that function at certain points and then the idea behind the Newton Coates uh, method is that we fit some uh, lower some simpler function uh, to that data and then we integrate over that simple function. So in this case we could use the simple, um, I've shown here the simple linear function, so just a straight line between these two points and then we integrate uh, using a much simpler equation for just integrating according to the integral of a straight line. Uh, I've shown that here as well, I'll explain the difference between these two. Uh, in a second, the same thing we can do then with three points. If we had three data points, one, two, three, we could fit then a quadratic to this data, and then we could integrate uh, that quadratic, so taking the integral of that quadratic, because that's simpler, and then um, it's much simpler than doing it for the underlying function. Uh, we could also do the same thing for a cubic function, We just where we have four data points, and we fit we fit our curve to the four data points with a with a cubic uh, polynomial and then we just integrate that cubic polynomial alright so this is the this is the idea behind the Newton Coates integration formulas and in particular then we have two methods we have the open method so uh, and the closed method so uh, the open integration formulas open integration formulas and then the closed integration closed integration formulas. The difference between the open and closed integration formulas is that the closed integration formulas use the endpoints in the in the points that they're considering. So you can see here we're using so if we're taking the integral from a to b so this is maybe our function f of x so we're taking the integral from or approximating rather the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So when we're doing that then if we have the actual endpoints uh, in our in our integration, then we have uh, we have this nice situation where it's a closed. Now, if we ha don't have the endpoints, then it's open integration. And um, you can see a couple things here. Sometimes open integration um, can be more accurate. The problem with open integration, though, is just like extrapolation we're much more uncertain of what happens to the function beyond these values. It's a lot easier to be confident that, you know, the behavior isn't maybe too wild between uh, two points, but it's much less um, straightforward to assume that beyond the points where we have data, um, it's harder to assume the, perf the, the behavior of the function. So the open methods aren't really used that much and and so we're going to focus a lot more on the closed formulas. This formula here, um, where we call the, where we we find the integral of this trapezoid. You can see that it forms the trapezoid. We call this uh, the trapezoid trapezoid rule. Okay, uh, and we'll go. We'll derive these a little bit later, or at least show a little bit more detail there. Then we have the trapezoid rule. Uh, in this case, we're using three points. That's called Simpson's Simpson's one-third rule. Again, this is on this side where we're doing closed, and the other stipulation is that this all these these data points have to be evenly spaced. So this is this is a stipulation for the Newton Coates integration formulas, um, and we'll see that when we derive them. But then in a, this the the last one's called the Simpson's one third rule. Um, then if we if we're doing uh, four points, this is called uh, Simpson's Simpson's uh, three eighths rule. And we can go on um, and use more points if we want. But um, those uh, the higher order ones, the fourth the fourth order one is called Boole's rule. And then it goes on, but we're not going to go on beyond that. Um, and then again, as I said, we're going to focus then on these closed, uh, these simpler, um, well, not necessarily simpler, but more um, uh, the, the closed integration formulas then. But be aware, 
um, and we'll just display them briefly that the open integration formulas exist as well.